area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Use a dummy. 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. The kids is asleep. We gonna have to do a little bit of late night creep, but I gotta keep it down just a little bit so it's a little bit of a quiet intensity. But for heir to the throne, I'm going to have to give a couple eulogies. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime as Peter. Nobody that knows bodies. Pow! Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. How we, it was a lot. Heir to the throne went down today. It went down. I had, I was, I was at work. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I was at work. But you, you know, they got the apps for that. So, you know, I had to get that after the fact. And I had to make sure that I had to get the right bars. And these bars was potent son let me tell y'all about the night okay so first of all we already knew that hustle and coffee was not going down um you know uh uh i don't know what happened with hustle but i hope everything's all right with her um but coffee was there i seen her you you was looking good all right um now and then um the 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 heartbreak of the was the night before was kcj versus 40 bars I don't know what's going on with KCJ. I hope everything goes well with her as well. 40 was dead. 40 was looking good. It, I mean, I, I, I know, I'm sorry, First Lady Flames, you know, like I seen what you said. And I feel you and all that, but I still have to think with my brain as a man. I do look at women on... You know, a, on a on a on a physical tip, on a emotional tip, on a mental tip, it's all all of those things. But when it comes to rapping, you gonna have to do a lot more than just look good. And tonight, whoo! All right, we we we, we let's let's just go ahead and just get it rolling. All right, we're gonna start the night off the right way, and it was supposed to be the way that it was supposed to be. I thought that this was gonna be battle of the night, and it actually ended up being battle of the night. My personal opinion. I'm just saying. E Hart versus First Lady Flames. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's 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 really get this out the way. The one caveat that niggas was saying about E Hart, if she were to just be clean and rap the way that she raps. She's going to clearly win this battle. Now, with First Lady Flames, there was a lot more confidence in First Lady Flames because of the fact that she has been battling back to back and she's been battling killers, like, like, like killers, killers that kill killers. And she ain't been winning. Let's, let's, let's keep it real. She ain't been winning, but the content that she's been putting out has been fire. So, we keep the ball rolling. Now, with all of that being said, E Heart, I T, I don't, I don't know. Listen, you, you big sister, me, like you. Listen, listen. I need you to rap like that all the time. That ceases all of the talk. That ceases that third round. That third round from both of them actually was pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. Both of them was spitting. In the third round, but in the first round, um, uh, uh, late first lady flames had the line about the reason why we call you auntie because we looking at a chick that's still at it. E Hart in the third round said, "Cool." <clears throat> He said, I'm cool with being auntie. I look over you little bitches because my sisters ain't raised you right. Let me, let me, let your e heart, you was wicked. Oh, man. I'm sorry. It, it, I just, I felt, I felt E. Hart's material. I felt her conviction a lot more. Don't get it twisted. First Lady Flames was cooking. But I got E. Hart winning that battle 2-1. You can say the, the first can go to First Lady Flames and, and then the E. Hart got the second and the third. But niggas can, can debate every single round for E. Hart to win. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know that E. Hart 
got the battle. Like she got the battle. But it's not a 30. It's not a gentleman's 30 for me. It's not a gentlewoman's 30 for me. Because E Heart was, I mean, because uh, First Lady Flames was snapping. I just, <sighs> my niggas, let's, let's just keep it real here. This was the battle of the night, though. I'm, I I rewatched this battle twice because. I had to get that one. I had to double back on that one. All right, next battle on the card. We got light skin versus light skin. Black and something else versus black and something else. Thickness of uncooked chickens is is what I think. Because because sometimes you know when you look at the leg of the, I like like I like it looked like baked chicken. Let's let's keep it real. It was looking like baked chicken up there. You know what I'm saying? It was looking good. It's when it fresh out the. Let's just get that out the way. Okay. Um. Vixen versus Shuni. All right, let's keep it real. What's the issue with Vixen? What 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 is y'all what is what is y'all main consensus or main issue with Vixen? Oh, she sound like twerk. Oh, she sound like shine. I still like the shit that she come with. I'm just saying it, it's very similar. I'm not gonna lie, it is very similar. But I like the content that she brings to the table. It's it's the punchlines you see them coming, but it still sound good when it's coming. Like I. I, I, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, nigga, I just watched House Party for the thousandth time. And I watch it as if it's my first time watching it. So what I'm saying is if it works, it works. Okay? I'm just saying. And the way that it's portrayed and she, the way she raps, I, I just I like the bars that she was giving. Shuni! Shuni, you claim to be one of the queens. You claim to have that crown. But you have a stigma, my lady. You have a you have a, a stigma -ness. That's not even a word, because I think that has something to do with your eyes. Is that is that a stigma? A stick? Never mind. Shuni, you got a problem with delivering. Like, you know, you deliver it right. It's just, as soon as you get that stumble in, it's like all of that just, just falls out the window. Like, I just, I, I don't understand why that is what it is, because, like, you, you'll have me going. But it, it like, <sighs> listen. And that's not act like Shuni ain't had nothing, man. Because, you, know, you know, I had to get a couple notes. You know what I'm saying? I had to get a couple notes and some quotes. You know what I'm saying? She said, uh, bitches want to uh, bitches wanna be the face so they get hit with the arm, split two Vs in half. Now they get in the double U. Like I, like, I like the stuff that Shuni be saying. It's just Vixen be having a lot more action into it. Like, she be trying to rile. Like, I, I, I like that. I like that. I like that, Vixen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Next time I lead, uh, uh, next time I lead the stage, it's gonna be to grab some shit. That was the rebuttal, because she was like, hey, yo, hold on. Be it's entertaining. It is hot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I think Vixen got that battle, too. I'm, I'm thinking that battle, I'm gonna give Vixen 2-1. It was okay. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't as good as the E-Heart and the, and the First Lady Flames, but it's gonna be hard to top that. Last battle of the night, and the reason why I'm dressed in all black. The letter of today, people, is O. O, that, that also can be translated as zero, which means that somebody in this battle got zero rounds. And in, O is in your name, and you was the O in getting three o Official versus Young Gaddis. First of all, you know what, Gaddis? I didn't think I didn't think you was gonna be able to do what you did versus Official, cause I know Official was just gonna keep. She's gonna keep hitting you with the haymakers, like wham. You know what I'm saying? Like she's gonna catch you off the off the look back. You know when you ain't looking or you lean into it, you. You know what I'm saying? That's how official be punching. But the thing is, official be stumbling on the way. Like she kind of, you know she coming. You hear them footsteps coming, so you kind of can brace yourself a little bit. And you braced yourself. Held on. And listen, I'm ooh, Gaddis. Ooh. Gaddis. Can you can you can you, I don't I don't believe you was that good. Bring that back. I need to see that again. I didn't I don't I, I didn't mm -mm, I didn't see that. I didn't get a chance to see that. I need to see that again. But, 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 I mean, I, all right, let me explain 
the the style of gas because the creaky floors is something y'all gonna have to deal with because no matter how many fabricated bars and lines that y'all think y'all like it ain't gonna equal up to this real shit there is a way you rap and Gaddis has that veteran style of rap shit. She's been here. E Hart also has that veteran style of rap where it's not just about the punch. It's about the setup into the punch. It's about how can we ride, how can we ride this roller coaster as smooth as possible before we drop down? It's, it, it has to go smoothly. And Gaddis definitely raps like that. Yes, I'm going to go to my notes again because I had a couple from that battle too. I'm just saying... It wasn't as good for... Now, let's not act like Official wasn't cooking, because she was, but she 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 stumbled and fumbled all through. All through. Oh, my God. It, it wasn't good. It, it, it just wasn't the same, same... Listen, listen, listen. And then Gaddis had a whole body bitch game, and it was actually pretty dope. She says, it's a privilege to XO like a Hennessy shot, body check like a penalty shot. Come on. It's the way that she raps, and I like the way that she raps. It's the, it's the, it's a, it's a speed bag, if you will, instead of hitting the heavy bag. You just, boom, you feel me? And you gonna get the three, four pick of the packs. You feel me? That's what it sounds like. You hit the pick of the pack, pick of the pack, pick of the pack, pick of the pack. I need to chill. All I'm saying is that Young Gaddis needs to come back. I'm saying if E Heart goes the way that she went tonight, whew. Ooh, E Heart's definitely gonna be some trouble. I just need to see, I don't I I need to see her spin the block again. First Lady Flames, I uh Debo, you need to give First Lady Flames like, I don't know, some some smaller competition because she like she need to kill something. Like, like she gotta like smoke something. You know what I'm saying? Shuni, you 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 gotta work on that. You gotta work on that on the flubber flabber the flaps. You gotta work on that. And you you've been, you been doing that for a while though. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been doing this for a long time. You had the baby, you came back, and you looking good with you know what I'm saying? You came at back, you know what I'm saying? The snap back, you trying to snap back. It was like a rubber band, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? It, it's cool, but who listen, I'm just saying, out of out of everybody there that night. Gaddis was the most experienced. E Hart, it showed experience. First Lady Flames held her own. And Vixen, Vixen be doing what she be doing, man. Like, Vixen sounds like herself. She, you know, I don't understand why y'all be having the issues. But, God damn, man. Debo, you need to give First Lady Flames something. Because, like, you gotta give her a cream puff. Like, somebody that's gonna be able to die, my nigga. Oh, my God. That was fireworks. That's trying to tell you how fire that battle was. We talking about the E-Hub battle. I'm still here, though, but I'm out of here. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, yeah, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Once again, if you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel, gang, gang. Um, Queen of the Ring had heir to the throne today. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got to peep the battles that went down on the card. I will say that uh, there were some battles, there were some things that I was impressed with, and there were some things that I was disappointed in. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Let's start with E Heart versus First Lady Flames. Fucking classic. Classic, classic. Yo, they went. Yo, them girls right there, bro. E Heart and First Lady Flames, man. E Heart, I've been saying E Heart is a legend, but I felt like E Heart needed a battle to really show this day and age, this time frame where she stands and, and like really set the, set the game back on fire. Yo, she did that shit today, man. Like, yo, she really, really put heads to bed in this battle, bro. Like, all three rounds, E Heart has some shit, dog. Like, she made niggas. If you ain't, if you ain't respect E Heart before, dog, you respected her today. I promise you that. She made niggas respect her fucking pen today, man. She was. Yo, she has so much material. I don't even, like, I don't got a lot of bars. I don't got all the bars and all that shit. My man Showtime SP, I know he got some bars and things like that. But what I will say, uh, first round, I had e Heart. You know what I'm saying? I had e Heart winning the first. Uh, second round, I had First Lady Flames winning the second round. And third round, I had e Heart. I had e Heart 2-1 in this battle. But First Lady Flames, son, she has so much fire material, son. She said some shit like, you the type to lay on your back. I'm the type to lay in these bitches' bushes, bro. What? Bruh, she was, yo. When I tell you she was wildin', son, yo, she said, 
You the type to lay on your back. I'm the type to lay in a bushes. Yo, leave First Lady Flames alone, son. Like, she's like one of the futures of battle rap, son. Like, she got so much talent, so much potential. And she's like, the sky is the limit for that girl, man. Like, to see where she's come from, to where, like, lyrically, the way she's lyrically able to put them bars together and being able to have such a fire pen, man. That First Lady Flames is something to behold. I loved what E-Heart did. I love what First Lady Flames did. But in a short, um, I do have E-Heart winning the battle 2-1. Uh, Shuni versus Vixen. Uh, I got Vixen winning the battle 2-1, taking the first and second round. Shuni with the stumbles, man. Stumbles will humble you, bro. Like, the stumbles. Like, the first round, she had the stumble slippy blippies. And I tweeted something like... Uh, you know, the, the 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 stumbles are hard to get over. Like, they're really hard to get past. When somebody gets through their round clean and then the other person has stumbles, it'd be really hard to get past the stumbles. And then second round, she does it again. Stumbles. And it's like, bro, like, Vixen was good, was very good. I'm not going to lie. She had, she had angles, patented flow, her flow. She didn't really sound like nobody else. She didn't over-dramatize the gun bars or with the growl at the, the big gun. The big, she didn't do none of that. Like, she really was in her bag using her shit. And Shuni had fire material, dog. Shuni had good enough material to win the second round. But the stumbles will make you crumble. Third round, uh, Shuni was in her bag, like, all throughout the fucking round. Punchlines everywhere. Angles everywhere. Personals. I mean, like... She had everything that she wanted. Uh, third round, Vixen was very consistent in her third round. I'm not going to hold you. Vixen was 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 wilding in her third round. Uh, but I definitely had Shuni taking that with the... Um, no, Shuni taking the third round and Vixen taking the battle overall 2-1. If Vixen has three clean rounds, this battle is debatable. If not, she might have even got it. She would have definitely got it from some people if she would have got the third... If she would have got through all her material. But it's just like when you battling the best people in the world... You can't show up and be stumbling and slipping and blipping through your rounds, especially the nasty stumbles where you like stumble for a couple seconds. And then when you do this shit, like some people be rapping in the middle of their bars and then they got to stop and just grab and drink the water to try to get it back. Like the bars is in the water bottle and shit like you got to do more like I, you, I, 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 I I'm, I'm rhythming with the rhyme and like I, I can't I can't get the rhythm with the rhyme when the shit is out of, out of pocket like that. You got to You got to have your shit together. So I, that was that. And then you got, uh, who you got? Uh, the last one with Official and Gaddis. Uh, Gaddis 3-0. Official was stumbling, fumbling, slipping and blipping. Her stumbles and chokes was fucking crazy, though. Uh, Shuni had some stumbles that was bad, you know what I'm saying, that fucked up her rhythm and all of that, that got the rounds given to the other person. But uh, uh, Official got dog walked. Like, Gaddis was wrapping fucking circles around her. You had... Uh, <laughs> You had Jazz at the battle looking like, damn, I, I wish I could jump in and help. And I kind of wanted you to. Shit was crazy, man. But other than that, man, yo, <laughs> you can't be covered out doing that type of shit. I spoke about it in the other blog. Uh, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or unpassing. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Salute for the qu queen of the ring for still putting an event together after all of the shit that happened. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot to try to overcome, I must say. But, uh, you know, y'all made it happen. Salute. Border before, all for the low. Cop of foreign, border patrol. Speaking code, get you a phone, you can call me up. I only came for the racks, this is Mardi Gras. I'm on another level that you'll never be in. Funny how I know your plug and you never seen it. When it come to broke niggas, I am never worried. Legendary nigga, what's a boss to a secretary?